bitches in the sunset. Stand. Hi, I'm Tony. This is SV Tapatia, and this is basically the video record of the build of, of this boat. Um, started five years ago, lofting the lines out, and uh, I've recorded a lot of the build, most of the build, the vast majority of the build, um, just sort of recording, showing you what I've been doing. And uh, last week was a sort of review, I had to look around how far we've got, and this week we're back to building. And uh, as you probably know, if, if you've been following, uh, the big push at the moment is to get the two masts built and, and done. You know, they're freestanding masts, so they don't, don't have any standing rigging. For that, they need to have a certain dimension to them, you know, a certain strength. So they're pretty chunky old things. Um, anyhow, getting there, the second mast is, is approaching completion. I'm now at the stage of just looking at it now at the stage of epo epoxy primer sealer going on. Find a bit of sand, a little bit of filler needed in, in a couple of places where the glass cloth overlaps. And then I'll be getting the top coat on and that'll be that done, which should be very good. Let's have a look. This is the tube that I made the partners fitting out of. I just need to check that it goes up to there. Thin wedges in there. Nice.
Well, way on back in the early days of these videos, I did a spot called Tony's Tool Tips, and you know, it was not 100% serious. It was certainly never intended to be tips of what tools people should buy. It was all about, it was a nice alliteration, and it was all about showing you the tools that I have and use. And in that way, it was honest. I, I honestly showed you the tools that I have and use. And one thing, I, well, there's a couple of things I never showed. One is this marking gauge, which um, came out of an old school, once upon a time, school workshop, um, but very, very useful tools, a marking gauge. And the other one I never mentioned is chisels. And uh, back on back then when I was doing those spots, I had a very motley collection of chisels, and I've still got all of them, <laughs> but I have upgraded a bit, and now I've got this, as you've just seen, this, this chisel roll. And I have bought a few new chisels and 40 millimeter and they're sort of arranged in, in sizes. Down to the smaller ones, I've got a 10 millimeter there, I believe it's a 10 millimeter. So a set of different size chisels, which are very good. And the one I use the most on this project, or the ones are the wider ones, the 40 and the 35, I think it is. Get the most use, they're, they're really good tools. Well worth having, obviously important to keep them sharp. Leo's just done a mammoth video on how to sharpen tools, so I don't need to mention it. Yeah, that's that. And most of those tools I showed back then are still what I use, you know. Uh, I did mention that I'd upgraded my saw collection with this Japanese saw, which I like, use quite a lot. Other than that, I've still got exactly the same saws I showed back then. 
So, you know, the tools I've used are relatively basic, relatively. Um, and just on the subject of this sort of thing, one of our patrons, Chris, gave me a tip about this book. And, and you know, I'm not advertising, but this book's called Shop Class as Soulcraft. Um, it was a New York Times bestseller, maybe it still is, I've no idea. But it's, I'm about halfway through it, and uh, it's a very good read, and he speaks a lot of sense, I think. It's, uh, so far, I've liked what I've read. I can recommend it if you like a read. Let's cut there. So the state of play now, as you can probably see as I scan, is that I've done alternate pieces of glass and then when they're dry I move the stands and do the bits in between. Obviously I've measured it out so that the bits in between are, will cover and overlap. So that's, what's it, one two, three, four, five rings of glass around the mast and then I've got the gaps, one, two, three, four gaps to do next time to complete the glassing. It's gone down well, it's a 300 gram per square meter biaxial cloth and uh, looks very good I think. What are you doing? Making some plum jam from our own plums in the garden. Homegrown plums. Homegrown plums, exactly. It's one batch. I made a few more batches from from a friend's plums, so plums. to speak. <laughs> <laughs> And there it is, completely glassed. I shall scan slowly over that. Um, done all of the alternate bits of glass and then moved the stands and glassed the bits between. So the whole thing is glassed. 
I say in today's job which is not a particularly pleasant one is to sand the thing that's the unpleasant bit and then get some epoxy primer sealer on it but so far looking good And there we are, that's it for this week. Getting there, still got a little bit to do to that mast. A little bit of filler, a bit of top coat. Need to polish the masthead fitting and put a wire through fitting on that so that I can run a wire through to the, the top light that's going up there. It's kind of a, a anchor light and steaming light up on top of that mast. So that's getting there, moving on. Uh, yesterday, although by the time this video comes out it won't be yesterday, but uh, yesterday in real time, <laughs> in now time, had a chat with the boat transport guy and uh, that's moving on. I think I'm waiting, I'm waiting to hear back from him. Um, obviously it's a very busy time of the year for them now, boat transport people. It's the end of the sailing season here and everybody wants their boat lifted out and moved somewhere. Uh, but I reckon six to eight weeks we should be moving up to the yard and that's where we'll be doing the final assembly work and finishing off. So that's, you know, looking forward to that. It'll be strange because at the moment in the morning I get up and look out the window and there's, there's the patio in our backyard. Looking lovely. And when I get up in the mornings and look out the window and she's not there, it'll be strange. But, um, and I'll have a half hour drive to get up to her as well. But it's the nearest sensible place to take it to. We can launch from the intended yard into the River Elba um, and go down there with the mass up so I can actually complete the boat in the yard. It makes the most sense. Uh, elsewhere, got the, I said last week I think, got the insurance through for the boat. Also this week I received the ship's radio license with the various numbers for the VHF and AIS. So, I should be programming programming those into the the two devices and uh, yeah trying to tick some of the smaller jobs off of the list between times we'll see you next time thank you very much for watching massive thank you to our supporters on patreon and via paypal you guys well um leave us a comment give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and uh, See you next time. Bye. Thank you.